before starting this lecture i request you to watch the first lecture theory of failure part 1 so that you can understand this lecture and the next lecture which is solving the numerical part notes are available on the website in the pdf format so you can go to my website rcaonline.in to get the notes now the first theory the first theory is maximum principal stress the best part of these theories are that the name itself reflect the theory so it says maximum principal stress second in many of the objective question it has been asked so remember that this theory is given by renkine and lemme sec third it is applicable for brittle material it is the theory gives best result on brittle material this question has already been asked the brittle material can be cast iron and concrete so what this theory says ki if your sigma 1 sigma 1 is the maximum stress by our complex loading and this is my sigma ultimate which i uh, which i will call it sigma ultimate or you can call it sigma y from our simple test so if my sigma 1 uh, i have found sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 i will take the maximum which is my maximum principal stress so if this sigma 1 is greater than or equal to sigma y then failure it will take place what does that mean let my factor of safety is sigma y divided by sigma 1 this is my factor of safety sigma y is from my ideal condition and sigma 1 is from the complex condition always remember in factor of safety sigma y comes at the top which means uh, the anything which is related to simple test and from complex loading always come at the denominator so this is a simple theory which says you compare the maximum principal stress with the yield value and if maximum principal stress is greater than or equal to yield then the failure will take place and if maximum principal stress is less than yield value then your material is safe this is good for brittle material and uh, <coughs> this theory was given by renkine now coming to the second theory which is the most important theory as far as numericals are concerned this theory is known as maximum shear stress theory as the name suggest shear stress it was given by tresca and kulam this is good for ductile material so three things to remember maximum shear stress theory was given by tresca and kulam and it is good for ductile material so in complex loading when we get sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 and we know that this is the maximum and this is the minimum in magnitude please mind this is about the magnitude not the direction and sigma 2 is intermediate so we will not consider sigma 2 here we will only consider sigma 1 and sigma 3 if both are tensile nature or compressive nature then the mohr circle will be like this with sigma 1 here sigma 3 here maximum shear stress will be sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 now if sigma 1 and sigma 3 are not uh, of same nature let us say that sigma 1 is tensile and sigma 3 is compressive then my mohr circle will be something like this with sigma 1 here and sigma 3 here and my maximum shear stress will now be sigma 1 plus sigma 3 by 2 because sigma 1 minus minus sigma 3 as my tension is positive here we have discussed this in mohr circle so i will get sigma 1 plus sigma 3 by 2 similarly if sigma 1 is compressive and sigma 1 is tensile then also we will get the same result which is sigma 1 plus sigma 3 by 2 now this is for the complex loading 
Now take the our simple test. What will happen in the simple test? In simple test, the mode circle will pass through the origin and this is my sigma 1. So what will be my maximum shear stress? The maximum shear stress will be sigma y by 2. Now, in this theory, we will comparing the maximum shear stresses. So what is the maximum shear stress in complex loading? It is sigma 1 minus sigma 3, half. And what is my sh maximum shear stress in simple loading? It is half sigma y. So when will the failure will take place? Failure will take place when the complex loading shear stress will exceed the simple shear stress. So this is my failure criteria. Now what is my factor of safety? My factor of safety will be as we have discussed on the top we will have simple tensile test result which is the half sigma y and uh, in the denominator we have complex loading which is half sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2. While doing numerical please keep a watch that this both should be of different sign. If both are of different sign then we will use sigma 1 plus sigma 3 and if both are of same sign we will use sigma 1 minus sigma 3. So we can say that this result is like this half sigma 1 minus plus sigma 3. Minus will be used when it is either tension, tension or compression, compression. Plus sign will be used if one is tension, compression or compression, tension. Now, the, this is the theory from which most of maximum question has been asked in theory of uh, in the engineering services. Now we are going for the third theory which is again as the name suggests it is maximum principal strain theory. So we are comparing the maximum principal strain. This is given by Sand Van Ticht and this is mostly applicable for both ductile and material but better it is applicable for ductile material and not give so good result for brittle material. So if I have three stresses again sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3 then what will be my maximum strain? It will be sigma 1 by E minus mu times sigma 2 by E minus mu times sigma 3 by E. These two are because of poison effect. Clear? But there can be two other values also. What they are? Sigma 2 over E minus mu sigma 1 over E minus mu sigma 3 over E. That can also be a principal stress and there can be one more which is sigma 3 over E minus mu times sigma 2 over E minus mu times sigma 1 over E. My basic assumption in this is that sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 are of same nature. If they are of different nature, then this sign will change accordingly. I will discuss that also. Just a moment. So, let us take the first case where sigma 1 is tensile, sigma 2 is tensile and sigma 3 is tensile. Then I will have the sigma 1 over E minus mu times sigma 2 over E minus mu times sigma 3 over E. But if uh, this is tensile, this is compressive and this is tensile, then this will become plus. Okay. And similarly, if this is compressive and this is compressive, then this also become plus. So we have discussed this while doing the Poisson's effect. If uh, any doubt, you can uh, ask me in the class also. Now, what will be the strain by the complex loading? By the complex loading, the uh, sorry, what will be the strain in the simple uh, uh, 
loading it will be sigma y by e stress over modulus of elasticity so what will be my maximum strain sigma y over e now what will be the failure criteria if complex loading strain exceed the simple loading strain then failure will takes place and if it is less then there will be no failure and then comes the concept of factor of safety so what is my factor of safety if this value is a and if this value is b then i can say my factor of safety is a divided by b as we have done in the previous two theories also so this is also a good theory two three good question has been asked in engineering services that i will cover in my next lecture then we comes the fourth theory which is total strain energy theory again this theory is more applicable for the ductile material so what will be the total strain energy if we have sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 the total strain energy will be 1 half of e into sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square plus sigma 3 square minus 2 times mu sigma 1 sigma 2 plus sigma 2 sigma 3 plus sigma 3 sigma 1 okay this is a standard result if you forgot then just remember this result so let us say this value is b and what is the strain energy by simple uh, experiment it will be half sigma y square over 2e let us say this is a then when will the failure will takes place failure will take place when b is greater than a and what will be my factor of safety factor of safety is uh, a divided by b that we have done in our last two theories also so it is simple put the maximum uh, simple test at uh, top and put the complex loading at denominator and if this value is greater complex loading parameter of uh, this strain energy is greater than uh, strain energy under simple then the failure will take place so this theory is given by hag and uh, this is good for ductile material which is strain energy theory now coming back to the last theory which is uh, the most important theory in recent days is uh, von mises theory this is highly recommended for ductile material with pure shear this theory is maximum strain energy theory another name is maximum distortion energy theory in most of the questions you will don't find the name shear strain energy theory but you will find the name maximum distortion energy theory so what is the maximum distortion energy theory just remember this formula this will be 1 by 12 of g sigma 1 minus sigma 2 square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 square 1 by 12 g where g is the modulus of shear okay now let us say again this value is b and this value for simple test is 1 by 6 sigma y square by 6 g this will be the shear strain energy in simple test this is for complex and this is for simple loading keep in mind this is one unique thing that here you get 12 and here you will get 6 many student get confused that they both are same so they put either 12 on both or put 6 on both so keep an eye that in complex loading you are getting 1 by 12 g and in simple loading you are getting 1 by 6 g so when will failure takes place when this value b is greater than or equal to this value a and what is my factor of safety again same thing my factor of safety will be a divided by b okay now these are the five theories on which every year one question has been asked in engineering service on an average now graphically also we can plot five the all five theories 
आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू द डिटेल एज वी डोंट फाइंड एनी मच ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन इन दिस थ्योरी सो इट इज सिंपल दैट इफ द थ्योरी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड ग्राफिकली सिंस वी कैन ड्रॉ द ग्राफ्स ऑफ ऑल द फाइव थ्योरीज दैन इफ द पॉइंट लाइज इन साइड द ग्राफ मीन्स दिस कलर्ड एरिया देन यू हैव ए सेफ देन यू आर सेफ एंड इफ पॉइंट लाइज आउटसाइड देन इट फेल्स so this is a simple the practice you draw the graph put your coordinate if the coordinate lies inside uh, this area all these areas colored part then your material is safe and if it lies outside then your material fail so i have discussed all the five theories now in the next uh, i will take uh, the numerical part thank you